Well, shit. Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you've missed episodes 1 to 10, I'll leave the playlist on the top right corner of the screen. Definitely go ahead and check it out. Some awesome episodes already out there. Also, if you are enjoying the Deadman Mode series, make sure you give the video a like because it helps my videos get out there. And also, very, very quickly, a little bit of an apology for why I've been away for a little bit over a week. I visited my friends and family and, uh, well, now I'm back on the usual schedule. So expect a lot more videos, obviously, in the upcoming days and weeks and months and uh, yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy this action-packed deadman mode video and uh, i'll see you in the clips and almost forgot the most important one join the cc mika dmm if you are playing deadman mode yourself and even if you're not we have a couple of people that don't play deadman mode that chill in the cc as well so feel free to join this and also you can join the discord if you have any deadman mode related questions or any other questions uh, both of those communities will always be there to help you out it is good to be back. I have completed a Kraken task, unfortunately, only got a tier 5 Mysterious Emblem and some rune stuff and some extra stuff, so it's honestly not too bad. Look at the runes that you get from the task. Um, fairly decent, to be honest. And the new one is gonna be Trolls. I do not like Trolls, to be completely honest, so we're gonna be cancelling that again. The new one is Abyssal Demons, and if you know me, you know that I absolutely love Abyssal Demons, so this is a great task. Full man, thank you very much for everything, buddy. And with that one, we also received 85 defense, which is also kind of cool. The next level is gonna be 93 strength. Looking forward to that one. Well, at some point in this task, we got to 93 strength. Uh, not really paying that much attention, just enjoying your videos while I do this task, because thanks to Gathan, I can soft AFK it. I put my volume fairly high, so if I get attacked, I can react in time. But outside of that, I'm pretty much AFKing when I do Slayer, which is kind of cool. But this is also going to be my last Abyssal Demon. Um, I also lost my stats. I didn't feel like going back to bank and getting more pots and stuff, but that's perfectly fine. We'll see what the next task is. The next level will be... 89 attack, I think. Yep. I'm not joking when I say this. I actually do believe that this might be one of the most profitable tasks that I can do right now. Just the fact that you get all sorts of different herbs and they go for a lot on World 45 Deadman mode. So I'm really excited to see how much money I actually end up making after this, you know, whole session. Uh, but also excited to get this attack level out of the way, which will almost boost me to 112 level, but... Right now, all the money that I'll get from tasks, I'll start investing into bones, and then we're gonna be training our prayer up a little bit, because prayer is always useful. So that's gonna be my next goal that I wanna get up, and we're gonna found it, obviously, through Slayer. If I wanna take a little bit of extra time and take a little bit longer completing this task, I'll have to bank quite often. Uh, but first, I wanna see the prices of the herbs, see which ones are actually worth picking up, because on the first ship I just picked up everything, and then we're gonna organize the amount of prayer potions I take and everything, so should be pretty cool. Let's see how it goes. All right, looking at the price chart, it feels like we're gonna be taking Carentines, Dwarf Weeds, Aventos, Eerids, Quarms, and Renars. Uh, I probably could go ahead with Guams as well and sell them over time, but I'm out here for quick profit, so let's go ahead and uh, take everything that we need. I'll also spend some cash and buy prayer potions back, and I'm ready to do this task. 89 attack, very nice. 88 Slayer, nice. Enku task is completed, it got me all the way to 88 Slayer already, and the new one is gonna be Necreal, so I guess it is time to make some money. Very nice, I like this task, it's kinda dangerous though. All right, good fight, bro. If I had spec weapon, I would maybe have like a bit more chance. Here we got a second shield left half on the account. Unfortunately, I did not record the audio in the next couple of clips, so we'll see what happens. Here we can see the price check of the first trip, and that is about half of the task. And that is the second half of the task. Solid 900k task. A84 magic, nice. Ooh, okay. 93 HP as well, I didn't expect that. I literally am on the last kill, that's funny. <sighs> <laughs> wow. 
What is he trying to do though? Okay, there's another guy coming in, so I'm finishing this and then teleporting out. Well, shit. Might be the end. At least I finished my task, I guess. Okay, we might be fucked a bit. Good fight boys. Okay, so the loot from that task, aside from the fact that I could get killed, but if I got TB'd perhaps, but they didn't really go for the TB, I should have bolted more, um, because if I bolt them, then they cannot attack me, so. Uh, but anyways, 270k from the regular loot with another battle staff, not the best, lost more money on that task, and it's very fucking dangerous as well, so. Still, decent, because I didn't die, I'm pretty happy with that, but. Yeah, it was a bit sketchy. I also got a mysterious emblem, so we're now at nine emblems, which is kind of cool. Here we go. It's been a while since I played Deadman mode because I've been away for like a week. Uh, but nonetheless, here we go. 86 magic accomplished. Very, very nice. And uh, I'm kind of just doing this when I do stuff on the side because, I don't know, it's kind of nice. And I do want to get to 94 and obviously eventually 99 anyways, right? And I have all of these 800 magic longbows to arc. So I think I'll be doing this until I'm finishing with that because that's going to get me a lot of money that we can then spend uh, hmm, probably buying like a safety deposit item or I might spend it on prayer, get that prayer up there because I do want to get my prayer to at least um, at least 77 obviously. So going to be a little bit of a grind when it comes to magic and I also kind of stopped slaying right now but obviously I might be you know kind of swapping between the two a little bit of slayer a little bit of magic we're, we're going to figure it out. Here we go, 87 magic is accomplished, we also got ourselves about 1.6 million just in coins from Alking the Bows, and I still, have about, I still have about 270 magic longbows to go through, and then I'll be done training magic for a little bit. And here we go, we alked all of the bows that I wanted to alk, got about 2 point whatever mil, so let's just quickly kill this uh, gnome, because we are no longer gonna be splashing. We got ourselves to 87 magic, which is kinda cool. And uh, let's just unequip this as well. Let's speed up the process by a tiny little bit, but really, really happy with this. I reckon I can get my prayer fairly high with these, and uh, that's what we're going to be doing next. I just need to find someone with an altar. I'm not going to go deep wilderness to the wilderness altar, even though that is a thing I could do. I just feel like if I went there, I would die. Now, uh, this is what I have in the bank. I risk a little bit of uh, money, but should be all right. And uh, yeah, let's, get, uh, let's train some uh, prayer, I guess. There we go, we just got 86 defense, decided to do a little bit of blood vows because the guy that said that he is gonna help me with an altar is not currently online, so I cannot really train my prayer yet. So, the stats are as, I mean the stats are on the screen right now, not looking too bad, the next level should be attack 90, which is already kinda, kinda cool.
and that is 50 tasks in a row completed on the account and that means we now have some extra points as well we're gonna take a new task for some black dragons which is very fast and most importantly i do think i can now learn to do a uh, slayer helm so if i go unlocks this is 400 points i do not have 400 points i think no i need like one more task so I do want to unlock that because, well, I just want to have it so I can use my basically black mask on every single task. Um, but yeah, almost at the point where I can have a Slayer Helm, which I think will look very, very cool. I also do want to complete, um, what's it called, the cannon quest because I do want to be cannoning the safe tasks just to speed the process up a little bit. And I'm every now and then I do rake this patch just to get my farming up to the point where I can plant the tree. And then I'll just use the safe zone uh, patches to get my farming up slowly but pretty nice uh, so far and uh, I do want to get that Slayer Helm unlocked but I will not unlock it too fast I will be patient until I have enough uh, points to skip a couple extra tasks new task dust devils oh shit I kind of want to oh I kind of want to burst them or oh but if I burst them then I'll probably get killed so I would have to like safety deposit most of my things god damn here we are back on ancient and uh well the decision has been made we will be bursting the dust devils and all the tasks like that because that's gonna get my magic up fast and this is basically what i'll be doing for the next god knows how long thanks to melodramagic um, that is running the bones for me i spent basically an entirety of my bank on these bones because that was the decision i made and then I will be able to also go ahead and burst my tasks. And then if I die, I just will not even care because I will not be risking anything. Um, so at the moment, uh, we are 68 prayer. The goal is 77. I didn't do any calculations. This is just what I've been buying while I was splashing, while I was just AFKing. Um, so hopefully this will be enough for 77. I'm not going to go over it as of right now. Uh, so all the remaining of the bones will I will just sell or I'll just keep in a bank. Um, but yeah, 77 is the goal if I eventually do end up going for this augury. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see how many bones we left off, uh, we left up with. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to be done training my prayer, I do believe, which is awesome. I have 113 bones left over, which probably is enough for a couple more or maybe at least one more prayer level. However, I'm not going to be using those because they are damn expensive. But there it is, 77 prayer once again. Thank you very much for Melodramagic. That's a cool name for uh, assisting me, running me the bones and providing me with a grimy Marantils. But uh, really happy with how things are going. Insane progress on the account. And uh, yeah, let's keep this going. If you enjoyed this video, click one of the four videos on screen right now. I'm sure you will enjoy another one. Have a good day, everyone, and bye-bye.